Welcome, history enthusiasts, to a voyage back in time. Today, we bring to life the top 10 Greek generals whose tactical genius and valor have become the stuff of legends. From the Peloponnesian War to the rise of empires, these are the men who wrote the rules of ancient warfare. Alcibiades was a dazzling enigma of Athens, a man who bent the arc of history not just in his homeland but also in Sparta and Persia. With an uncanny ability to adapt, he became a pivotal figure in the Peloponnesian War, a man of many faces but undeniable impact. His crowning military achievement came after a turbulent period of exile and collaboration with Sparta. Returning to Athens in 410 BC, Alcibiades masterminded a victory in the Battle of Cyzicus that would define his legacy. Utilizing ingenious tactics like surprise attacks and adept naval maneuvers, he led Athens to a resounding defeat of the Spartan fleet. This wasn't just any victory, it was a game-changer. Athens reclaimed Cyzicus, and Sparta's naval capabilities were devastated, breathing new life into the Athenian war effort. While Alcibiades's shifting allegiances often raised eyebrows, his impact on the Peloponnesian War was indisputable. A man of both brilliance and controversy, he showed that one individual could change the course of history, for better or for worse. Philippemon, born in Megalopolis in 253 BC, earned his title as the last of the Greeks through both military skill and political savvy. As a leader in the Achaean League, he became a bulwark against encroaching Roman power, striving to keep Greek city-states autonomous. The pinnacle of his career was the Battle of Mantinea in 207 BC, a masterclass in tactical brilliance. Facing off against Spartan forces led by Macanidas, Philippemon hatched a daring plan. He ordered a feigned retreat, luring the Spartans into a carefully laid trap. Just when the Spartans thought victory was at hand, Philippemon wheeled his forces around for a devastating counterattack. His cavalry struck with precision, his infantry followed suit, and soon Macanidas lay dead on the battlefield. In a world increasingly overshadowed by empires like Rome, Philippemon stood as a beacon of Greek independence. His military victories and strategic acumen left an everlasting imprint on a Greek world in flux, solidifying his status as a true Greek hero. Parmenian was a celebrated Macedonian general, serving under both King Philip II and his famous son, Alexander the Great. Born around 400 BC, he was known for his loyalty and military expertise, making him a cornerstone in the Macedonian campaigns that transformed the ancient world. The crowning achievement of Parmenian's career was at the Battle of Issus in 333 BC. While Alexander led his daring charge on the right flank, Parmenian commanded the left and faced intense pressure from the Persian forces. In a high-stakes standoff, Parmenian's steadfast defense ensured that the Macedonian line held strong. This allowed Alexander to execute his tactics flawlessly, leading to a decisive victory that solidified their grip over Asia Minor and paved the way for deeper incursions into the Persian Empire. Though he was a model of loyalty and military skill, Parmenian's life ended in tragedy, as Alexander ordered his execution due to a supposed conspiracy involving his son. Nonetheless, his pivotal role in the Macedonian military campaigns has solidified his place as a remarkable figure in the annals of history. Seleucus I, born around 358 BC, was one of Alexander the Great's most skilled generals and a key player among the Diadochi. He was instrumental in shaping the Hellenistic world and founding the Seleucid Empire, which extended from Anatolia to parts of India. The zenith of Seleucus's military career came in the wars of the Diadochi, most notably at the Battle of Ipsus in 301 BC. Here, Seleucus and his ally Lysimachus went head-to-head -head with Antigonus, all vying for slices of Alexander's fractured empire. The battle was a tipping point, with Seleucus employing war elephants to devastating effect. These war elephants broke Antigonus's lines, leading to his defeat and death. 
The triumph didn't just end a battle, it drastically expanded the Seleucid Empire's boundaries, stretching them from what's now Turkey to Afghanistan. Seleucus emerged as a brilliant military and political leader from the turbulent period that followed Alexander the Great's death. His legacy, particularly the Seleucid Empire, ensured that the cultural and military influence of Greece would be felt throughout the Near East for many years. Pyrrhus of Epirus, born in 319 BC, was a cousin of Alexander the Great and a formidable general in his own right. Known for his military campaigns across Greece, Italy, and Sicily, he is perhaps most famous for coining the term Pyrrhic victory, signifying a win that comes at a great cost. Pyrrhus set his sights on Rome after regaining the throne in Epirus and began a series of military campaigns, encouraged by the Oracle of Delphi. His initial victories at the battles of Heraclea and Asculum were both impressive and costly. Using war elephants, which the Romans had never encountered, Pyrrhus secured victories but suffered heavy losses. After recuperating in Sicily, he returned to Italy for another showdown with the Roman Republic at the Battle of Beneventum in 275 BC. This time, however, he was defeated and decided to end his Italian campaign, retreating back to Epirus. Pyrrhus's military acumen was extraordinary, but the toll of his victories revealed the complicated nature of warfare. His legacy is best summarized by the term Pyrrhic victory, reminding us that even in triumph, war can come at an overwhelming cost. Memnon of Rhodes, a Greek mercenary with a deep knowledge of Persian warfare, was a shining beacon in an era dominated by the rise of Alexander the Great. Skilled in both Hellenic and Persian strategies, he became the Persian Empire's trusted commander, tasked with halting the relentless advance of the Macedonian. In 334 BC, following Alexander's triumph at the Battle of the Granicus, he set his sights on the coastal cities of Asia Minor, aiming for the heart of the Persian territories. But when Alexander reached Halicarnassus, he met a formidable adversary in Memnon. The siege of Halicarnassus saw Memnon's brilliant defense, using inventive tactics and war machines to resist the invaders. His strategic might ensured that, although Alexander captured the city, it was at a heavy cost in time and lives. In the grand tapestry of ancient military exploits, Memnon stands out. His understanding of complex warfare strategies and his resistance against the Macedonian juggernaut marks him as one of history's great commanders, even in the shadow of Alexander's vast empire. Themistocles was an Athenian statesman with a knack for naval strategy. Sensing the looming danger from Persia, he lobbied tirelessly to build up Athens' navy, setting the stage for a maritime defense against Persian aggression. During the second Persian invasion in 480 BC, Themistocles's foresight was put to the test in two pivotal battles. The first, at Artemisium, resulted in a stalemate, but it marked the first hiccup in the Persian war machine, delaying their advance. The stalemate was an omen of the grander confrontation to come at Salamis. Using his deep understanding of naval warfare and the local geography, Themistocles crafted a cunning strategy. He lured the Persian fleet into the narrow straits of Salamis, turning the battleground into a chaotic maze where the Persians couldn't maneuver effectively. The Athenian navy pounced, dealing a crippling blow to the Persian fleet and putting an end to any ambitions they had for conquering Greece. Themistocles' brilliance in naval strategy has etched his name into military history. His foresight in expanding the Athenian navy and tactical genius at the Battle of Salamis solidified his legacy as a savior of ancient Greece. Epaminandus of Thebes was a 4th century BC military strategist who dramatically shifted the balance of power in ancient Greece. Challenging the Spartan supremacy, he elevated Thebes from a secondary state to the Greek mainland's dominating force for a time. The battlefield of Leuctra in 371 BC became the setting for Epaminandus's military brilliance. 
Here, the Theban general took on the formidable Spartans, breaking from conventional tactics. He employed an oblique formation and deepened his phalanx on the left flank, essentially concentrating his strength against the Spartan right. The result was nothing short of historic. His ingenious strategy overwhelmed the Spartans, not only winning the day but also shattering the Spartan stranglehold on power. For a time after Leuctra, Thebes soared to prominence in a period known as the Theban Hegemony, unseating Sparta as the dominant force in Greece. Though Theban dominance waned after Epaminondas' death, his legacy remained intact. His military innovations and tactical brilliance are studied and celebrated, confirming his place as one of ancient Greece's most influential military minds. Philip II of Macedon was more than just the father of Alexander the Great, he was a transformative leader who elevated Macedonia from a backwater kingdom to a dominant force in ancient Greece. His reign from 359 BC to 336 BC set the stage for the world-changing empire that his son would later command. The highlight of Philip's military career came at the Battle of Chaeronea in 338 BC. Facing a coalition of powerful Greek city-states like Athens and Thebes, he needed to demonstrate the effectiveness of his extensive military reforms. Under Philip's guidance, the Macedonian army had been turned into an elite fighting force. He had revolutionized the phalanx, created a professional army, and established the formidable companion cavalry. At Chaeronea, these innovations coalesced into a stunning victory that shattered the coalition and solidified Macedonia's position as the leading power in Greece. Though history often focuses on the accomplishments of his famous son, Philip II was a military genius and a pivotal figure in his own right. His tactical innovations and battlefield victories set the groundwork for the Macedonian Empire, making him an essential chapter in ancient military history. Alexander the Great, born in the Macedonian capital of Pella in 356 BC, set his eyes on the grandest prize, the Persian Empire. His reign marked an unparalleled chapter in military history, as he sought to extend the reach of Macedonia from Greece to the far corners of the known world. Alexander's military genius came to the forefront through a series of iconic battles, Granicus, Issus, and Gogamila, where he broke the Persian Empire. But the Battle of Issus stood out as a turning point. Fighting against overwhelming odds, he demonstrated extraordinary tactics and leadership. But he didn't stop there, he pushed his campaign even into India. Facing terrible weather and the formidable war elephants of King Porus at the Battle of the Hydaspes in 326 BC, Alexander secured another hard-fought victory, carving his way into the Indian subcontinent. By the time of his untimely death in 323 BC, his empire spanned from Greece and Egypt to India. Though Alexander's life was short, his impact was monumental. His military conquests not only changed the map but also spread Hellenistic culture far and wide. His legacy, blending military innovation and cultural exchange, endures to this day. And there we have it, the top 10 Greek generals who forever changed the face of ancient warfare and history itself. Their tactical brilliance and indomitable spirits have etched their names into the annals of time, serving as inspiration for generations to come. Thank you for embarking on this epic historical journey with us. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave your thoughts in the comments, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button for more awe-inspiring stories from history.